Beautiful sunrise. Sorry, had to text my best friend. I'm not sure she knows about this. She knows about it, but probably hasn't gotten around to it yet. shift is uh crouch tap slide hole force walk force walk 
That's stupid crouched slat. That's so that needs to be my Q key sprint. And sprint. What do you mean sprint? Sprint sprints uh oh yeah, uh a Q should be sprint, but it's okay. I guess between the modes, we can change them. Yeah, sprint and dodge. Maybe we should maybe see if the same key will work, actually. Oh, no, okay. I had a double bound is what it is. Oh, I see. So, no, sprint should be control, I guess. Oh, advanced graphics, huh? Oh, there we go. I don't know. Maybe I can do the ray tracing. It seems like it's actually okay. Now that it's rendered, it, it's, it's such a slow game that I don't think turning it up is a very bad idea, actually. Very cute. Reminds me of Genshin Impact. Uh, there's water. I like the movement. Feather. Wait. I have an idea. I just had a really good idea, actually. I think I'm going to change a big key bind that I've always used wrong. I think I want, I always want my sprint key on my, um, dodge is Q, but I actually want it to be that. I want it to be middle mouse. That's perfect. Offhand use, sneak, shift, place held object. Uh, yeah, but I want sprint. Where's sprint at? It's not there. Um. Uh. No, it has like some overriding keys, I guess. And then crouch. Should be shift. There we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that... Wow. Okay, so I, I, I put my dodge button on middle mouse, which never occurred to me that I could do that. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Wow. Well, thank you, number two and Lego Fortnite for helping me evolve a keybind that I've always had, like, misma mismanaged for a long time. Like, nothing else, I'll be happy that I remember that. Because this game has sprint and um, uh, dodge, which is always really hard for me because it's like, I don't know. Yeah, controls feel good. Like, I love Epic Games and I love fucking Fortnite. Oh, look, there, is that a tornado? No, it's a, it's smoke. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, so what else can I do? Inventory. How do I? Oh, I see. Okay, so map inventory. Oh no, map. Inventory is on tab. Yeah, and, and map is on map. Okay, so inventory, but um, map inventory players. Oh well. The weather is, is evolved, like rust. Feels good. Just soaking it in. Let's go see the water. Ooh, no diving? No diving. Oh, I drowned, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, they got that good procedural. That's sweet. Wow. I didn't know uh, the sky could look this good. I've never seen a sky in a video game look that good before. What does that sound? Oh, a grill? The C2 bullets.
Wow, it got dark. The closer you get to the fire, the more dark it gets. It's so cool. Beautiful. Uh oh. Oops. Wow, it looks good. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, my um tablet disconnected. Oops. Give me just a second. Uh
Wow, that was kind of sudden. The sun just disappeared. Oh, what's this? Uncommonge a health charm, huh? Wow, the reflections in the water and stuff looks really good. This game is so jokey for how beautiful it is. I wish it was a more professional adult game. But maybe that makes it good, I don't know. I haven't played this game, I don't know. in the rain. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's all sunny now. Wow, time sped up while I took the bed. That's cool. Silk, huh? I like this a lot more than Minecraft, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, so... Oh, it looks so good. God damn. I kind of want to pop the, the graphics. Now that it's rendered, I think... Uh... So let's auto set again just to see what it does. Okay, TSR high, recommended, on, on, epic, lumen, lumen, epic, 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 on. So, and the hardware ray tracing and all that. Yeah, so let's see how it feels now. Save, yeah. No, I guess that was not right. That was not good. So... I cannot even pause the game anymore. Yeah, that was too high. Sorry, guys. I can't see my mouse. Oops, damn it. You put the shadow. Virtual shadows on epic, I want them on low. There we go. Oh, much better. I'm starving to death, I am.
It's because I have the ray tracing on too. So let's see how medium runs. Yep. Medium looks great. Fucking great. Oh, yeah, and I got my frame rate and all that stuff, too. Ooh, what's that? What the hell is that? Did you... Oh, wait. Wait, this is a different house? Oh my god, this isn't my house. Where did the wolf go? Oh, it's to the east. There's... There it is. And I lost whatever that was because of the stupid wolves and all the damage I took. How is it that you heal in this game? Oh god. Ah! Ah! I don't know, man. You think you could give me a weapon before you ask me to run across out into the world, maybe? Because, the, like, these weapons, they swing, like, um... I, I imagine, uh, I'd have to be an AIDS patient four-year-old child to swing like that yeah that's a that's a pretty feeble oh oh stop hitting yourself stop hitting yourself or whatever it's like pretty feeble eat to heal yeah i mean i tried to eat to heal but he was biting me i was trying to fight him with a with a uh whatever that was get back to where that was wow what's over there jesus ran over to a llama And now I don't know where the llama is because the damn wolf attacked me the second I reached it. 
so annoying. I feel like that happens a lot in video games. Like, oh, what is that? Oh. One shot. Nice. Or two shot. Cool. Oh, now I learned. There's no compass, which is, like, kind of a cardinal sin. Like, what a fucking way am I even facing in a survival game, no less. Okay. Oh, there's a compass, but it's really bad. Like, 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 laughably fucking bad. Uh, how, what was this again? Yeah, here we go, here we go. The north. Well, yeah, I know that's north, but it's very hard to tell which way I'm facing. That is really dumb. Why can't they get a sword? They haven't even, like, really even hinted that it exists or whatever. Can I get a weapon, please? This fucking weapon swings like an old granny with AIDS. It's like, Ugh! Like, yeah, man, like, what are you, a fucking AIDS child? Why would, like, why would that swing be that bad? Like, put some gumption in it. Uh...
Wait, what? What's that mean? I hate building. See what see what happens to me when I try and do it. So stupid. No, oh, don't eat that raw meat. No, no. Gonna run that video. It's fun, but it's slow. I, I guess Which I don't know. mind. Uh, you know, just I wonder how the fishing is. Real quick on my, on my new druid on the season of discovery, and somebody pings me and says, "Fantastic have finally spoken about you, you know the day before, and how have they spoken? They're closing down the studio." They're closing the studio down. Now bear in mind this game, they just launched their, you know, <laughs> revolutionary next generation zombie survival MMO four days ago. They, their new game just launched four days ago and they're closing down. I'll, I'll read the statement. I've not read this yet. Today we announced the closure of Fantastic Studio. Fucking Overwatch fart noise in, in uh, just insert that one in there. Like, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the day before has failed financially. Who could have fucking seen that one coming? And we lack the funds to continue. All income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners. Now, I, I want you guys to understand something here. The company doesn't just, you know, <laughs> fail like that. That's that's not how the world works. That's not how business works. The fact that they now don't have the funds and that the day before is now l launched in this state and failed financially now means that they'd already failed financially and they launched this game for one of two reasons one is a complete hail mary to try and see like you know maybe people buy it and we earn enough money to stay afloat or two is a fucking shameless shameless cash grab to just get something out there to get some money to pay off these debts to their partners 
Um, presumably here that being my toner, the company that is their publisher and above them, uh, but who knows because they don't, you know, they don't talk about it. So we invested all our efforts, resources and man hours into the development of the day before, uh, which was our first huge game, the other games. Uh, bear in mind again as well, some context you need to understand here if you've not followed this whole thing. Every game that they're about to show here, that we're going to go through in a minute, they released and then within weeks or months abandoned completely this is literally exactly what people it's fun i like it two year run up of knowing the day before was coming out and talking about is the game real is the game fake are they scamming you know how can they deliver on this huge thing that they're saying they're going to people repeatedly brought up they released all these games and then immediately just rode off into the sunset and no longer supported the games not within four days though this is a fucking this is a speed run uh destroy your studio destroy everyone's reputation take people's money for nothing uh, any percent speed run so this was their first huge game we really wanted to release new patches to reveal the full potential of the game unfortunately we don't have the funding to continue the work Th there's no oh wait i got a sword oh right. yeah oh cool there's two things you can say about the day before one, if they kept working on it, maybe one day it could be a serviceable game for what it now is. And two, it has shown anybody out there that's looking to make a zombie survival MMO or uh, an open world uh, zombie game like a Daisy, like a Scum, like one of these games, or an extraction game that is like Escape from Tarkov, but a little bit on the lighter side in terms of the barrier for entry and the hardcore aspect of it maybe a little bit faster paced a little bit more arcadey is how i like to refer to it that there is a massive massive huge audience out there that would absolutely gobble up one of those there we go there's a real swing there we go so much better much better oh i like it a yeah thing overall for the industry to know that hopefully some people are paying attention and thinking okay let's make that our next game someone that hopefully has a little bit more credibility and ability to deliver um and also obviously a, a shame that they didn't continue even though again i think this game is absolutely shameless in what they've done what's raining looked into by steam obviously if you bought this game already refund the fucking game right now stop this video go to steam refund it you th there's no more the day before it's over before it even started blink your eye it's done uh, important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before just when we released it of course uh, there were no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns we worked tirelessly for five years pouring our blood sweat and tears into the game i just don't no knowing now that it's all assets again refer to my previous video that came out a couple of hours ago talking about the day before uh, to see that my opinion on on assets and again when i say assets i mean store-bought assets assets are assets I mean store-bought, uh, you know, pre-made stuff you can buy off the Unreal Engine Marketplace or Unity Marketplace if you're on that platform. I don't think using assets is a problem, but I do think you uh, it's very odd to me to try and conceptualize that you spent five years working on something when we know everything in the game was bought off the Marketplace. Obviously, you don't just, you know, stick them in the engine and they all work together and there you have a game. But considering the day before is such a bad game with so many problems, I just, I don't see where those five years went, man. I really don't see where the, it, we need an insider to speak to one of these content creators and have the full story out there of what the fuck happened with this game. Because there's no way that, that this was five years worth of work. There is no conceivable way that this could be five years of work. Uh, I, I just, I, I can't understand that. So at this moment, uh, the future of the day before on Prop 90 is unknown, but the servers will remain operational. It's not unknown. You, if your studio shuts down and you have no money, th the future is known. The games are dead. Like, how could, how could they survive when nobody's working on them and you have no money and no studio to operate them? They're, they're dead. Uh, even if you leave the servers on for, you know, residual income or whatever, uh, obviously people are going to quit because the game has no future so why the fuck would anybody play uh, i mean I, I can't see a reason why people would play them in their current state prop night I, I can't speak on actually so let's take that one back in terms of the day before i don't know why anyone would play that <coughs> game is, is not good uh, enjoy what you're going to enjoy I, I guess people some people like it when women step on their balls with high heels they call that cock and ball torture 
which would probably be more fun than the day before, but there we go. We apologize we didn't meet your expectations. We did everything within our power, but unfortunately we miscalculated our capabilities. That's fair. Uh, if you came out and said that when the game was about to launch and told people it's not what you said it was going to be originally and you'd stripped all these features back and the game was going to be something else before people bought the game and you changed all the marketing on Steam and made sure everyone was aware before they purchased the game that it was different and said sorry we wanted to deliver this huge thing and that's why the trailers kept getting worse and worse and showing less and less but we couldn't manage it if you said that i could I, I would literally be on your side i'd be telling everybody like yeah you can criticize them for you know saying they were going to do x and then not being able to do it but you can't criticize them for not being open and transparent and that would be a completely reasonable thing for a company to do and i'd say mostly unreasonable for people to you know go in on you for if you admit your limitations but you didn't do that you're doing that after you've taken people's money and after you lied to people so saying it now is like it just doesn't do anything for me like you you've done the wrong uh, saying afterwards not even acknowledging that you did the wrong but just saying oh you know we we tried uh, and we weren't good enough but you you lied like that's the the crux of the matter uh, and you need to apologize and own up for that but instead you're running away from it you're, you're not acknowledging it whatsoever within this um so creating games is an incredibly challenging endeavor true yeah it really is uh, one that a lot of people obviously take for granted because there's so many good games out there made by big teams with big money with a lot of experience but then you look at it and even big teams fail you can have the most successful team in the world with all the money in the world uh, with a great ip behind you you can have everything going for you and you can make an absolute fucking wet fart of a game um, it just happens and then obviously you see all these small indie teams making fantastic games uh, unfortunately this wasn't one of them but video game development is, is incredibly difficult so nobody's going to deny that one uh, we are grateful to everyone who supported us during these difficult years it's been a fantastic journey over the past eight years and then as you can see 2015 they opened the studio 2017 released the wild eight abandoned it 2018 released dead dozen abandoned it 2018 released Radiant 1, abandoned it. 2021 marketed the day before, parlayed that marketing, uh, essentially misleading people to launch Prop Night. Some people enjoyed it, it didn't do, you know, incredibly well, but it was well received for what it was. Dropped off the face of the earth a little bit, not too many uh, concurrent players. But still a game, you know, something that some people enjoyed. So give people their props on that one, I guess, haha. -ha. Uh, and then release the day before, 2023, four days ago. Dead dead and gone game's gone so uh there we go what else do you say about this situation like holy shit this has got to be i've said this many times again i've covered this game for over two years i think at this point and people kept saying why do you keep covering it and i got all the you're a hater wait till the game comes out before you criticize the game which is stupid because i'm not criticizing the game i'm criticizing the decisions the people making the game and using that to inform what might happen with the game i got people saying give them time you know what what more can you say there is no time because obviously there's something you've got to understand when you do youtube obviously you don't want to put stuff out there that one damages people uh, unnecessarily unless you feel like oh off you know, really i need see to speak on it off and two the stuff cool, that you put out is cool. on video and people can quote it back to you and show it to you when you're incredibly wrong so you do want to be right but i don't want games to fail unnecessarily if they are going to be good games and if the studio has done nothing wrong i'd always want the games to succeed i've always wanted this game to succeed it's in the genre of game i want to play i, I fucking love daisy uh, i've loved many many zombie uh, tv shows movies i just really like the the feeling of those games i love survival games love rust got thousands of hours in it things yep, like that me too. with things like the day before situation i obviously didn't want to put a bunch of content out and be wrong on it later and proven wrong so i've done a lot of thinking and reading and looking into this game and this studio and things like that i wasn't just saying it for no reason so of course when it comes out and you're right and people for months and years were telling you oh you know you, you shouldn't be talking about this like a game you know it's going to be great it's going to be fine it's obviously just so mind-blowing to me that people still went and bought this knowing that this was the case. Obviously with the day before, the writing was on the wall for for the entire time. That they were doing things that, that 
if you looked into stuff like this for a long time if you followed gaming for a long time followed indie games followed games that ended up being scams or you know just being really bad you would have seen the writing on the wall as some of us did and posted about it many many times the stuff that they were doing and saying only led one way that the game was either going to come out and shock everyone and, and it was just a bunch of, uh, of, of issues that they somehow got by or when they finally released it it was going to not be what they said it was it was going to be an utter mess and it wasn't going to continue based on the history of the studio with them delaying it so much as soon as i played this game i fucking knew that the whole coverage the whole time was spot on it was right and that this game was going to go nowhere because there's no way when you've delayed it so many times you can sit and play what this is and think yep that's ready which means again they released this because they had no other choice they had no money they had no opportunity to wait they couldn't fix it any further they couldn't even wait another week and, and you know fix some of the server and networking problems and probably the thing that makes the most sense to me now in reading this that the studio's gone and the game is fucking dead as a doorknob is that they of course said they were going to release a beta for this game and now I know why they didn't. I love they this game. Thank game you, was, number two. They needed to release to get as much I really, in a short -term really as they possibly could happy I have this game. No <laughs> and they needed to pay back debts to their partners. It just is super obvious now because if they released the beta for this and everybody knew weeks or months in advance that they lied about it, the game was completely different and it wasn't even good while being a different game. Nobody would have bought it. They'd have got none of this money and they'd have just closed down without getting literally a penny from this um so that that makes it look way more wrong and you could even say malicious uh, if if that's indeed what happens i can't see any other way that would explain what the fuck has happened here you don't have such bad financial problems and then just release a game that's a complete lie uh, and then four days later close down that's just not a thing that happens uh, not unless something really fucky was going on so <laughs> wow uh, what more can we say about the day before uh, not a great deal i don't think i'll be making many more videos about this game until we get some behind the scenes info which always comes out you know it always does somebody from this is going to speak one day to somebody and hopefully it's not too far distant in the future and we can find out specifically what exactly went wrong and whether or not there's some uh, pesky emails or you know messages floating around to talk about some of the speculations and theories people are definitely including myself are going to be coming up with regarding this so that's it the day before is done uh, request a refund absolutely do not leave your money on this steam will honor all refunds at this point i've just got mine and hours over the two hour window i've read of people getting 10 hour refunds uh, so definitely get your money back. Don't let them use your money for a shit dead game to pay off debts to their partners that they accrued, making a game that wasn't the one that they sold you on in the first place and released knowing that was the fact and never even acknowledged it. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And I wonder what they're going to call me now. I wonder what the fans, the defenders of the day before are going to say. You're a hater. You you know, give the game time. Fucking time, yeah, right. brother. Thanks for watching. Buy game subs, buy your waifu cups, buy your uh, your flavoured things. I don't know why mm -hmm. this one's got Joe Biden on it. No idea why. But they taste good. They have, you know, vitamins and stuff in it. They can have caffeine or non-caffeine. Either way, link in video description, you get 10% off. I get... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet this man. I'd like to meet him. I think. <laughs> I think <laughs> he's very funny. <laughs> a couple days before, I talked about a game called The Day Before, which is at one point considered Steam's most wishlist game. Meaning that Steam players really wanted this game to the point where they put the wishlist tag on and said. Daddy, I can't I want wait till it. this drops so I can play it. <laughs> no <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, this game launched literally a couple days before it launched the day before. <laughs> <laughs> the studio shut down the day after. <laughs> I, mean, I don't laugh when a studio closes, but these guys are these not guys, exactly the, the best, the best studio people. In, no. In, in, in terms of anything. So again, if we're going to go back. Thank you, by the way, Kira TV for the excellent content for my I stream. Know. I've liked this stuff to your channel. Watched this this morning. It's good to put it on the stream tonight. I watched it twice. <laughs> Very funny. I'm watch this too. <laughs> Ooh, <lady>. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> These fucking scam artists, right? See, I get Mortal because Mortal, he knew he was only going to get like a thousand people, right? So he kind of has to financially hustle those a thousand people. These people went after the entire world. There, there's, there's a... There's a big difference, right? They took it off Steam? Yeah, they probably took it off Steam. I mean, yeah, they probably did. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, because this shit was like a full-blown fucking scam. I, I knew it was, but I, 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 uh... Like, there was this point about four months ago when Kira was like, there is no way that any video game company, even Epic or Blizzard or whatever, could even supply what these people had promised. And I took that I took that in faith because he wouldn't have said it on the video. And he was like, here's me staking my reputation behind it. You know, here's me taking the risk and just like put my reputation behind it. There is no way he, he said it like four months ago. He was like, there is no way. Ooh, skeleton. Time for you to die, skelly. Time for you to die. Sha, sha. Ah, uh, that old base Minecraft combat. But hey, maybe there's a shield. Ooh, look. Talk to Hayseed. Howdy, partner. I'm Hayseed. Just holler if y'all need something. Nice to meet you. It's always swell to meet a, a new face. This village looks like a great place to get a good, nice rest. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Talk to Hayseed. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Hayseed. Yeah. All right. So we're going to build like a big motherfucking thing, but I don't know. Uh, building parts. Wood foundation. See if we can get what we need here. I want you to snap, snap. See, it's not snapping that well either. There we go. See, th this big professional game. Big fucking epic can't even get fucking building rights. Funny. Oh, I'm cold. Yeah, I am cold, yeah. I need to, like, stop at the fire for a minute. I like the cold. I think that's good. Uh, I don't know. Can you snap at all? You don't seem like you're snapping. Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to do this, but I don't care, frankly. I don't think the building's very good. <laughs> okay, so now I want to see if I can make a stairway to heaven, right? Oh, uh, no, wait, where's the water at? No, oh, no, you can't build any bigger than the circle. But we're still, we're going to build a really big fucking platform in the sky. Like, as high as I can go to. But, uh, first... Uh, gotta find the water. Uh... Gotta find the water. Let's see. It was, uh... Oh, yeah, it's, it's due east in that direction. I just can't see it because it's so rainy. I suppose I should get in, um... Yeah, I suppose I should get in and get, get, get like, warm. Ooh. I like this game, actually. I gotta say... I need a box. Wait. Set respawn location and rest. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, it's morning. Alright, so... I want to incorporate water into this build. This build is cool. It's like a fob. Live in my village. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. Oh, you guys want beds, do you? Okay, you want beds. All right, so uh, I guess I'm supposed to make a hotel. But see, I would always, almost always, build the hotel in the water. So we're going to go down to the water. We're going down to the water. 
And we'll uh, view village upgrades. Sky Cat Lives Village. Close village shop. Upgrade village. I don't want to. I want to um, build a new one. I don't need you people. Goodbye. Have fun with my town or whatever. It better be big when I get back. Which will be never. Uh... Ouch. Oh, you son of a bitch. You broke my fucking sword, you asshole. Uh... Alright, you. You ate my meat, you fucking dick. Ah! Tick, 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 I like him. I like that he killed me. I like that it's hard. I think it's well designed. I'm loving it. A lot better than Minecraft. A lot better. I don't care about fucking terraforming. You guys go ahead and dig down. I want to build up. Stupid egg. I was already back there way faster than I thought I would be. Because it's not a kid's... Well, it's a kid's game, but it's hard. Like, genuinely hard. It's cool. So, open your backpack. Uh... Alright, so... Gotta have a lot of trees by water. That over there is looking a lot prom more promising to me. Or, or even the island. The island might be way better, actually. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. no. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Did I die? I got one shot, did I? Or what? What happened here? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What happened here? I think he, like, charged and hit a rock, and the rock killed him, I believe. And I got all the rock. Yeah, I did. I got all the rock from that. Granite. What a fucking cool little thing. That thing charged me. He had a rock and he fucking died. I wonder if I can recreate that. That was awesome. Ooh, what's over there? There's like dudes and stuff. They're all standing around a fire. They look like they're angry or something, maybe. What are those? They're pumpkins? Yeah, let's let's see if I can manage to swim out there. I kind of don't think so, but let's find out. Oh man, the sh the shadow on the water looks good. This is like the most beautiful game I've ever played, maybe. Short of Fortnite itself. Yeah. I drowned. I drowned. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I learned. Uh, oh, am I on the on the island? I am. So one thing uh, you could say is this is truly a much more defensible area than where I was and there's lots of trees and lots of water and food here and there's even a self like built moat do you see it it's like a moat <coughs> this is my town and I'll connect the islands yeah this is it this is a much better fucking place nasty wolf right there Okay, so I guess the first thing we do is build the house, which is connected. It is connected, actually. We build that my house away from everybody else, like over here. Yeah, so I hope I have enough tools to do this. I have enough materials, anyways. I won't be constantly harassed by mobs here, right? Uh, so, what do I do? I chop a lot of trees, I guess. And, well, no, I, I, uh, well, no, I'm gonna build the house upwards. I have some wood, right? Yeah, I have 18 wood. Let's see what all other stuff I can do. I can build a log lookout. A log lookout. Hmm. Well, okay, starter, simple shack, double shack. Starter shacks, building parts, floors, walls, floors. Walls, doors... Half walls, stairs, 
Let's test the gravity, I guess. Let's run a stair. How much does it cost? Two two wood. So let's let's try the veritable stairway to heaven, right? Fortnite doesn't have really too much of a a limit on how high you can go. And I want to mess with that. Right? I mean, it starts out orbitally, or, orbitally really high. Not enough resources. Damn it. Cool. Stairway to heaven. Oh, God. I hear a wolf, I think. Gotta get that there. That there. Um, this here. All right, you. Where are you? Oh, no, I guess it's not here. Am I hungry? Yeah, I'm a little hungry. Um, that's an egg or something. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, what's that? Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. What are you taking me? I didn't put a bed down. I want to put a bed down. Oh my god. Ouch! Oh, that hurt. Ugh. Hurt dick. I love this thing. It makes me happy. Oh, this bush is really big. That bush makes me happy. Look how big that look how big that fucking bush is. I've never seen a bush that big in a game. That's fucking awesome. You have let Oh my god. You better be worth it. Soil, sure. Raspberry seed, sure. Take Oh, raspberry seed might be really good actually. Feather. Yeah, take. Alright, feather, sure. Yep. Cool. Oh my god, it's really beautiful. I gotta say, this is way better looking than rust. Wow. Well, it's like as good looking as rust. They're like different styles. It's the it's the actual next gen. What's that over there? It's like a gingerbread fucking house or something. It's weird. There's two wolves. That's bad. Oh. Not enough resources. I don't have anything? Oh, I do, but you're not, like, showing me my bar. Where's my bar at? Oh. Oops. Back to tab. Day before which is at one point considered Steam's most wish-listed game. Meaning that Steam players apparently really love this game to the point where they put the wish list tag on and said, Daddy, I can't wait till this drops so I can play it. <laughs> okay, that's true and all. But ladies and gentlemen, this game launched literally a couple days before it launched the day before. <laughs> And the studio shut down the day after. Now, normally wow. I don't laugh when a studio closes, but these guys are not exactly the the best studio in in in, in terms so, of anything. So, so really, they're going to in, in in all realities, they're essentially running. They're like running from the law. Let's just say it. These people are, li are have literally just sold a fake game. Stole a billion dollars and now they're running from the law and all of Steam and all the gamers in the world. Is that what I'm what I'm to understand here? Is that is that, is that kind of what, what we're doing here? Oh, cool! I was able to jump it. Yeah. So fun.
It's responsive and good. Okay, I want to support them. Uh... You say, save it, right? Yeah, I think you do. The, the banana is still too masculine. If you go back in time and look at one of their initial statements, uh, to our future players who will dive into the game on December 7th, which literally is like, what, four days ago? Uh, we made this for you so you can enjoy the game and it becomes a celebration. So this is how we began. This is where we're at now. Today we announced the closure of Fantastic Studio. Oof. Unfortunately, the day before has failed financially and we lack the funds to continue. All income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners. We've invested all our efforts, <laughs> resources, and man hours into the development of Day Before, which was our first huge game. We really wanted to release new patches and reveal the full potential of the game, but unfortunately, we don't have the funding to continue the work. It's so we dropped the game and quit. It's important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. There was no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns. Really? We worked tirelessly for five years, pouring our blood, sweat, and tears. I don't know if I believe that. No, you took no money from the public. I don't believe that. There were no pre-orders or crowdfunding? Wow. Into this game. At the moment, the future of the day before and prop night is unknown, but the servers will remain operational. I assume they probably have an agreement for, like, a certain time the servers are up there. And until that agreement ends, you can play this brilliant MMO extraction shooter that was supposed to be, as of today, still an open world MMO survival set in the present day on the U.S. East Coast following a deadly pandemic. So again, <laughs> we apologize if we didn't meet your expectation. We had everything in our power, but unfortunately we miscalculated our capabilities. Creating games is an incredibly challenging endeavor. So here they come with the whole year of their accomplishments. And of course, they finally ended four days after they released their biggest fucking game in the world. That's a correction. When I actually looked at this earlier on before we recorded the podcast, I swear to God, I thought, I thought we still had like a sale being made here. But it seems like the game isn't being sold, obviously, because it's shutting down. Now, if you look at the Steam reviews, you can see that, yes, it's overwhelmingly negative. But a Let's go look at this personally, I guess. I, I, I got nothing better to do. Well, oh, there we go. Just get in. We hit a roadblock. Network connection lost. Okay, well, play again. Connect accounts. Connect accounts, bro. Connect through Epic Games and Lego accounts. 
I don't have a Lego account. No, I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe... Lego and Fortnite are the same thing now. What do you mean? Oh, Chris Stryker invited you. Chris Stryker invited me to a party. Huh? Invited me. Um, um, I don't want to join Chris, though. I don't want to sit with Chris right now. I'm on stream. Uh, it's selfish, but it, I mean, it's. I don't want. I don't want voice on my stream right now. Hey, you. Matchmaking. Common trope amongst them is product refunded, product refunded, product refunded, product refunded. Oh. World currently unavailable. Let's exit out. No, I don't want to do zero build. Uh, I've got to move Fortnite to my C drive, I think, because it's like taking too long to load, and that's annoying, but I mean, I kind of do. Where, where do you do this? You do D... How much room on my C drive? 130, no, uh, uh, you, oh, 134, huh? How big is this entire folder? It's big. Move it. Move this entire thing for right, or well, yeah, yeah, cut. I don't know, will this mess with things? No, the launcher should do fine. It should do fine, I believe. We're gonna cut. Hey, let's see about moving C to my C drive. Paste. Well, at least it's fast. Product to refund it. Oh shit! I can't believe so then, that. And gentlemen, there's a few more things to this story. Being one of the most wish-listed games is pretty big. But to actually go down to the reality of it, in the four days this game was alive, it literally had a peak of around 38,000 players. 38,104 players, which was their all-time peak. Currently, that number dropped, not before the studio shut down, literally the day after. See, on December 8th, the player base was at 12,000. The day before, it was 38,000. And of course, that number kept slipping and slipping and slipping, until it is in fact as dead as 2,326 players right now. So yeah, I guess if you wanted to finally get into the game and not have server issues, this might be your only time to play the game. Now I'm personally a little bit depressed because I wish I could have played this game, but I didn't. I didn't buy it, I didn't jump into it, and frankly I'll never get to experience the trash heap that is the day before rendered on my local system. So I decided to dig a little bit deeper and see Maybe if there was some update on their Discord. On their Discord, one of their employees over here, one of the Discord uh, moderators, I guess, was like, alas, goodbye, and thank you for myself and the rest of the mod team. We appreciated all the fun we had over the time we spent here. We had our community ups and downs. The kind words today were appreciated from the mods. F and tumble, uh, fumbled and tried to use, me as a, use us as a scapegoat. One day, someone will make the game we all desire. Yeah, this is the same mod that also defended the game and said it's not an extraction game, even though that, again, was relayed by the developers. But that said, you still couldn't take these idiots at their word. What were you doing? Critical thinking skills, my man. So again, they even bring up how to do a refund after two hours has passed. The fact that we have brought up how to do refunds after Steam's pre-allocated time, the fact that we're looking up guides just shows you how bad it is. The Reddit board around here, in fact, it has changed the profile picture into a clown version of the day before, okay? Meaning that this is now actually part of the community canon, 100%. So based on some insider information regarding the day before, one thing that I wanted to look at was how much this game got refunded. 
And according to this one report from an insider, lifetime Steam units were 201,000 units. Okay, and I believe the game was being sold at like $54 Canadian. Uh, I guess you can do the conversion for America or you know Europe or any currency you reside in. But the lifetime Steam units returned roughly averaged around to 50%, okay? So maybe slightly less. 91,000 refunds, dude. That is insanity. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is not good for any company. To give you an idea of how Steam refunds work, they're not meant for you to try out a game. If the game has performance issues, you should issue a Steam refund. If the game is a blatant fucking lie, then you should refund on Steam. That's just how it works. And this game is, in fact, a blatant lie. Remember, they build this as an open-world MMO shooter, when in reality, it was just a crappier version of The Division, or really any other extraction shooter game. Remember, if you wanted an extraction shooter, you should have built it that way. It was interesting because there is an actual amalgamation of people five days ago who posted all of the features. So weather, snow, time of day, nighttime, they've got audio, radio announcements, proximity chat, they've got physics simulations and collisions, they've got forcing the door open while sprinting. Man, the bar is overwhelmingly negative these days. Jesus. But again, they've got a zombie horde. These are more zombies than I've ever seen than actual streamers playing the game, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this game looks different than the one that came out. And to understand, that's not, like, unusual. There's always bullshittery that goes on. (laughs) (laughs) Product refunded, product refunded, product refunded, product refunded, product refunded. We're not available from this build, it seems, in the... Oh, my God. What a scam. See, okay. Mortal is not far from this game. There's not much difference, really. Between them and Mortal. But Mortal knew that they would only reach about, you know, a few thousand people. I think these people wanted to rip off everybody. Play. I don't want to play no build, though. See, this loaded this way faster, way faster. For people that have specifically 13.5 hours on record. 13.5, 13.5. 13.5, 13.5, 13.5. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Even the review is hilarious. Yep. Yeah, my, I, I put it on my uh, SSD because it's not loading so well. Wow, the shadow is so good. For those who don't believe in us, please don't accuse us of asset flip. That's not true. Our team worked day and night for five years to make a game a reality. Yeah, fucking right. All right, ready, ready for yeah, this one? Yeah, right. One person actually looked down the Unreal Engine store, and again, this is what they are confirming are from the marketplace. This isn't me. If I can't find them or I'm not sure definitively, I'm not placing them here. So this was a Steam post. Uh, in the community section, in the discussions, but I believe it was removed where they showed these plugins, like the third person camera, the ascent dialogue system, all the way down to the assets of the skate park, the Arctic base. I mean, we're getting to a point where, ladies and gentlemen, the further we scroll down, we're not even making our own vending machines, okay? We've got the Urban City Pack, the City Skyline Restaurant, and Piano Bar. The seven cars pack. Look at the end of the day. Assets, uh, buying assets for game development isn't necessarily a crime. For smaller developers and newer people, obviously assets are bought to speed up development time, but at least conveniently convey that. Don't just sit on your high horse and say, please don't accuse us of... Don't accuse me of the asset flip. (laughs) 
when uh, in reality the community has had at least four days to sit down and again based on one observer this was the assets they claim were in the game personally i can't confirm it because i never bought the game and there's a good reason why i didn't buy the game because i knew it was going to be a shit game with its horrible development cycle remember the amount of delays this game has went through and the initial announcement trailer the fact that on their own youtube page they have removed advertising announcement material for their video game just so this piece of shit could drop in 2023 and a few streamers could try playing with their audience and be so goddamn excited like dr disrespect who was just so excited shooting a zombie 70 times zombie that was animating at like six frames a second by the way at a distance insane i didn't see the crazy crowds I didn't see a game worth getting excited about. It really seems like this game was built by aping the advertisement of literally The Last of Us and sold itself as this open world zombie survival MMO, which would have been a cool game, right? But at the end of the day, why the hell would you not buy DayZ that has a game already built into it? Why would you just not buy The Division or really any game if you wanted that extraction shooter? Why this stuff wasn't conveyed properly is disgusting. And this game, in my opinion, is in fact a scam. And the fact that they shuttered four days down the road, there needs to be a proper refund process for this. And if you haven't gotten your money back, you 100% should. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a disgusting release. And honestly, this is the record implosion of a company destroying itself in literally just four days of them releasing, quote unquote, their biggest game ever. This is without a doubt one of Fantastic's most fantastic implosions, and uh, I think we're going to leave it at that, boys and girls. It's the day after now. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you like what you saw, please like it. If you like what you dislike, ah. I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I have to. Uh, thank you, Some Ordinary Gamers, for the excellent content <laughs> for my stream. I've liked and sub to your channel. <laughs> the laugh is so fucking funny. I'm sorry, everyone. I have to milk starfield again of course you do in this video it's gonna be tough but we'll get through it together and i promise the term milking will make sense in just a moment i i chose that word oh it makes sense to me i've been yeah. trying to figure out what the deal with starfield is because we all like talking about it but i'm finding less and less people that actually like playing it <laughs> like it's one of those weird games where bizarrely enough the entertainment value seems to primarily be coming from talking about the game instead yeah of playing it, which is pretty rare like other games have been like that like maybe skull and bones uh which hasn't even launched yet is one such game or perhaps like for a while cyberpunk 2077 was like that but here's the realization and that is that bethesda has actually become unintentionally a lol cow and if you don't know what the term lol cow is it's basically an internet term that a person or group of people laughed at for actions they take despite not trying to be funny they may try to take themselves seriously but are often milked the cow, for laughs without their knowledge and this is a term that's often applied to people like boogie 2988 or dark side phil or chris chan people that the internet likes to watch and finds entertaining but not for the reasons that the creator thinks they're being found entertaining and the best example of this is actually if you go to starfield's steam page you can do this yourself right now to prove i'm not making this up and if you go just to like recent reviews which now are mixed but that's kind of beside the point if you go here this looks pretty standard but there's a couple of things i want to call out and we talked about this on my live stream channel already if you're not subscribed over there you definitely you just have to the K, so shout out to everyone who's an OG but it's not too late to join join us over there subscribe links in the description but i want to point these things out first of all these reviews are with like 75 hours 170 hours 150 hours 29 hours 140 hours 20 hours like these are not people who played it for 10 minutes and are like sony ponies and so then they uninstalled it and refunded it and now wrote it to negative review these are people that have actually played the entire game possibly multiple times through and have found the game wanting and they left very thoughtful reviews and i encourage you to go through and read a lot of these because some of them are very very witty frankly and very entertaining but i want to call attention to a couple of them this one from square zero was particularly entertaining they had 
a hundred hours on record when they wrote this review, okay? And they wrote this very thoughtful thing where they described things like, I never thought in my life that I would write a negative review for a BGS game. The magic of BGS games is it makes you feel big in a big world. This game makes you feel small in a small world that's pretending to be big. That magic feeling of go anywhere, be anyone, do whatever you want, choose any side you desire is gone. We love BGS games because the world, the freedom, and the lore makes up for whatever the main story lacks. Nobody buys Wait, that's BGS bad. Did you not totally snap it? For the awesome world, the freedom, the lore. We get games to make the worlds our worlds, and that's Bethesda's magic. And it's magic that this Damn game it. doesn't have. This game just doesn't have any of that. It does in theory, but not in practice. The storyline is very linear and forced. Your actions don't really matter at all. You can't help any faction win over any other in any kind of meaningful way. You cannot shape the game world. The game's world is small, pretending to be big. See big space, load screen into a small area. But there are lots of small areas and load screens. The game somehow feels smaller than Fallout 4. In previous titles, the story was an accessory to the game world. In this game, the it's game really a lot smaller than Fallout 76. <laughs> <laughs> frustrations with the game very very well and regardless of whether you agree with these frustrations he's had with starfield i think at the very least you can acknowledge that this is somebody who played the game is a bgs fan and just did not connect with starfield and he's voicing his frustrations in the form of this review so what would you expect a multi-billion dollar what? corporation to do like accept the criticism as constructive criticism and move on maybe try to learn from it add to the game through dlc expansions polish whatever and improve the game i mean you could expect that or they could go and leave a passive aggressive reply basically saying that the reviewer is wrong which is what they chose to do a bethesda team member a bethesda customer support team member specifically that has the developer tag so they're officially associated with the game replied and said greetings thank you for taking the time to leave a review for starfield we're sorry that you do not landing on different planets and are finding many of them empty some of starfield's planets are meant to be empty by design but that's not boring <laughs> you're wrong <laughs> quote when the astronauts went to the moon there was nothing there they certainly weren't bored yeah yeah now if you find starfield boring um you are being an idiot because the astronauts that actually went to the moon weren't bored when they went. So you're just being a whiny pants. You know what I would say to that, Bethesda customer support person? Um, those people were on the actual freaking moon. <laughs> they weren't playing a video game that's supposed to be fun. Like, of course it's a different feeling. You know what? Fly me to the moon. Uh, let me dance among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars, and I would bet you that I will have a good time. But that'll be because I'm actually in space, not playing a video game where just to get there, I had to sit through loading screens and put up with tons of other clunk and jank. Like, this is so weird to me. It is literally just an employee of Bethesda. Whether they're outsourced or not doesn't really matter, but they are an employee basically telling the customer that they're wrong. And the number one rule of business is the customer is always right. Like they are literally getting one of the most bare bones, basic aspects of consumer facing business completely backwards. Oh, you didn't like our product. Well, you're stupid. <laughs> it's amazing. They go on to say the intention of Starfield's exploration is to evoke a feeling of smallness in players. They achieve that and make you feel overwhelmed. <laughs> That's the opposite okay you can continue to explore and find worlds that do have resources you need or hidden outposts to look through and then they go on they repeat all of this stuff which is just like typical Fuck. padding where they just talk about how great the game is and they say they're still actively working on the game oh they're my god feedback through the sling blah 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 and you might think this is just a one-off weird comment but there's other reviews like this this one with 75 hours on is frustrated that the game has a boring story and a boring world and they actually responded to this and said we appreciate you taking the time to review blah 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 if you feel that things are getting boring there is so much more to do than just the main mission there are mm, nothing side missions where there's you can nothing learn more about the people and no just be honest so there's nothing to explore and then they go into the same oh, damn it. padding of features and things i have a feeling that these are all chat gpt responses where like they ask chat gpt to read this review and then provide a counter while calling out like 
cool features of the game and then they just copy and pasted that because for one people don't talk like this and two I, I don't know how else to put it other than that this would take a while to type out and they responded to dozens upon dozens if not hundreds of these comments if you go through these like all of these negative ones they've responded to reading all of this and then responding with like a piece by piece response you know what let's actually do an experiment right now i'm gonna copy this review into chat gpt and we're gonna see if it spits out something similar okay here we are in chat gpt we're gonna use 3.5 for this because it'll be a little bit faster and i'm just gonna say can you write a Oops. response to this game review while calling attention to the mm -hmm. maybe features and strengths of starfield and putting a positive spin on it and then we're going to paste the whole review and hit submit and see what it does straight up this is what it spits out okay i understand your concerns about starfield and it's essential to provide a balanced perspective on the game while it's true starfield has received mixed reviews there are some aspects that can be appreciated world building graphics and aesthetics a ship customization certain quest lines potential for improvement uh, it's understandable that as a developer fan you may have higher expectations and it can be disappointing when a highly anticipated game falls short however it's worth considering that the game may evolve and improve over time dude this is straight up like the exact same thing i think this is what they did i'm gonna add on to this though let's see if we can get it even closer can you write a response in a professional and pr style to this game review calling attention okay let's see if this if this works uh save and submit try it again we appreciate your feedback and the time you've taken to share your thoughts on starfield at Bethesda game studios we value the input of our dedicated dude this is straight up exactly what it is uh, this is definitely a case of chat gpt or some other ai being used to mm -hmm. respond to these comments like very very quickly with like zero thought whatsoever and i don't think they even like proofread it because there's a couple of these replies oh damn it some, like, little please stop doing that and they don't correct it in like any of the responses. It's like they're just copying and pasting it. Like in this one, you can see it says, there are so many layers to Starfield that you will find things you've never knew were possible after playing for hundreds of hours. So I don't never know knew was possible. He's part, I don't think they can really make typos with the way it works, but maybe like this was some sort of speech to text where they screwed it up and just didn't proofread it either way it's really really weird to have typos like that and these are copy and pasted across a few of these responses it's just really really weird but the point of all of this is that it makes bethesda and xbox in turn look really really bad when the customer service team is doing stuff like this basically calling their fans and customers either just liars or like stupid for feeling the way that they feel like oh you were bored while playing our games well astronauts weren't bored in space so therefore you're stupid like it's insane but it's not the first time that they've done this type of embarrassing thing if you watched the internet historian video on the fall of the fall of or just the fall of 76 amazing video if somehow you've not watched it yet you absolutely should but in this they go through a bunch of the stuff that this customer service team did back then and it's all sorts of craziness with like people getting refused for refunds even though they qualified under their policies just getting rejected because they didn't want to submit the refunds or the other stuff where like if you got banned from the game for an exploit or maybe um using like a money glitch to get extra caps in the game to be able to buy stuff they would ban you and if you asked to be unbanned because maybe you were falsely banned or you just don't think it was mm -hmm. fair they would require you to write like an essay. The Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning these two. They are a progressive company. Sure with are. Big ideas. Big brain. They wanted to give a road to redemption. God how So support sent out this email to players called cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. It's the same team that did that. <laughs> like the same company, the same group, the Bethesda customer service team that embarrassed the crap out of them five years ago with Fallout 76 is doing this same insane cringe stuff now. And at that point, it's not a matter of like, oopsie, one person went AWOL and did this, and maybe other employees joined in because they thought it was funny. Like, this is a pattern for over five years now where every time they get in hot water, they have a disdain 
for their customers and they treat them poorly and like talk down to them and lecture them like oh you got banned for for this thing and you think that was unfair well write me an essay and maybe i'll consider unbanning you like go screw yourself dude what are you talking about or this you found our game boring well astronauts when they were in space weren't bored as if that's a response like this is a company culture problem that's been consistent for many years now and at this point i think i've just accepted that it's really really freaking funny and i'm not going to uh, pretend as though it's not they are masters of accidental cringe and it's not necessarily just todd and and his merry band of henchmen that do funny stuff i mean yeah i think some of the design decisions are pretty laughable certainly but i think it's a broader company issue and I don't know if that lands on Todd's shoulders as the head of the company or if it's some middle managers that are doing this, but it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad and very stupid. But listen, at the end of the day, when we're playing Starfield and actually trying to enjoy the game, all that really matters is if you have a good time with it and you have fun. And some people honestly have had a good time and have had fun. And for them, this is their game of the year. And for that, and for those people, I'm I feel sorry happy. for you. I, <laughs> I feel sorry for them. They're just blown away by every single year because when you have that, it's a really, really remarkable feeling. But there is no doubt at this point that the more people have played Starfield, the more and more they've become disenfranchised and disappointed with the things that they're discovering, the holes in the design, the weird like outdated elements that just are lacking frankly compared to other games i mean one of the biggest and most damaging things for starfield i think this year was just the fact that we got cyberpunk 2077's 2.0 update and the phantom liberty expansion in the same year i think that made this look so ancient in comparison because you just compare it and they're not even in the same ballpark. They look like they're from two completely separate console generations, even though they're technically and literally not. Cyberpunk was built to also run on the PS4 and Xbox One, and granted, they didn't run very well over there. No, I get that. that game sucks. And the 2.0 update doesn't even run over there anyways. But still, like, this is supposed to be the next generation Bethesda game, and it's only running on this hardware, and it runs way, way worse, is limited by all of these constant load screens, little bitty fishbowl areas to explore, and it only really works if you don't go full Truman Show on it and start exploring beyond the barriers and then realize that you're just a small guy in a small world, and like that review said, it doesn't work because this entire game is built on giving you the feeling of being a small character with a big impact in a basically limitless universe of worlds to explore but instead every time you try to play the game you are reminded that you're actually a small player in a very very small fishbowl and so it constantly butts heads in terms of theming and what you actually experience while playing and that's why i personally think starfield would have been much better served if they had gone with like three four five six planets and then really built those out made the mass they all say this they all copy each other's scripts and they're all plagiarists do you hear it and so every single fucking starfield streamer i've heard they all say i wish they rather had stuck to five or six planets five or six planets it's weird because they all quote that they're just reading each other's scripts and like just or they're watching each other's videos and then just going live the next the, like that like half an hour later and just regurgitating the script it's disgusting that five or six planets five or six planets thing i must have heard 35 goddamn fucking you con like youtube content providers say that floor <clears throat> and then ignored the i think they should have just had five or six planets why did they have a thousand they should have five or six planets it, and it's because whoever did this first i think it was more t-small or something or no whoever did the first negative fucking starfield review or whatever was like oh i think they should have stuck to five or six planets and so that and that's how you know it like you know that these these scripts are plagiarized they're like stolen the extra thousand planets that frankly don't add much to it five and or six planets would agree with that maybe sound off in the comments if you agree i think starfield would have been much better served if they had stopped trying to do this sort of procedural thing 
and just focused on what they could actually manage to do well. Because these copy and pasted locations and points of interest just frankly aren't very interesting in the context of the entire game. And the little bitty things and frustrations like the traversal, the fact I have to run around on foot when I have a literal freaking spaceship there that could fly. I mean, how did it get there? It flew, but yeah, I like, okay. myself around the planet. Okay, like way back in, in, uh, in like 2000, the year two, uh, in the early 2000s, there was a movie called Phantom Menace in the Star Wars franchise where they kind of showed how cool it would be to be able to just fly to Mos Eisley. Fly to go see the boy's mother. Fly to go see Padme. Fly to go see the senator. Fly to go fight, you know. And then and we've had this for like 20 years, but we didn't have it in Starfield. You, could, you couldn't fly from the city to the outskirts. Like, like honestly, you should be able to set a pin on the out, outskirts and your, your your ship should just fly there. It's like kind of crazy. It's, it's like it, it, we have Tesla cars that can do that. I mean, you know, right now we have Tesla cars that can do that because Todd didn't think that was a good idea. Did you? Did you? Sorry, I'm getting heated. I need to calm down. Or the other thing that made Starfield really look outdated was the drop of the If that's heated for you, oh God. The guys over at Star Citizen, and I know Star Citizen is definitely at this point. I totally understand. I've done plenty of videos on it. But this is a demo showing you what actually works. I don't see any. Uh, Luke Stevens, he was cool. I liked him, whatever. But I, I didn't think he was very inspired. And I, I didn't like this video that much. The worst Hearthstone car reviews ever. Everything wrong with Airbnb. Yeah. They all do classic Bethesda. Here's a no, 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 no. I'm sorry, everyone. I did like two videos like this, and I was like, I don't like this format, and I, I left. I never did another one. I was like, I did one called um, Dear Blizz uh, backward, uh, Backfills and One Shots to Y, right? And then the other one was, um, I forget the other one, but there were just like clickbaity titles about like why, you know, this and this. and. Not good. Yeah. So I enjoyed this, but I want to come back to it. It's good. Or, well, no, what I want to do is I want to play it in the background. Is what I want to do. So that means turning down the graphics, however. Which is unfortunate, but uh, I like seeing it in the full graphics. It was pretty. We'll go back to uh, yeah, we'll go back to performance, lower graphical quality, right? Apply. Restart now. And we'll go back in, but uh, in the meantime, I will also load WoW, and I will change my title. Lego Fortnite. It was good. It was good experience, but it was. Uh, I like it, but I, I have to play some more. Lego Fortnite. Wow. Sod. Rogue. Eve. Mining. And, uh, yep. Yeah, it was jet. The first half of the video was good, but then he started regurgitating the second half, like almost plagiarism straight up. I'm saying. Not to say he was plagiarizing, just that it came across that way. This plugin does not seem to be working. What do you mean stream finished? Live streaming? Oh no, I'm live, I'm live. Yeah. Yep, much better. Frame rate's better. Make it bigger. Settings. View distance. 
Me, I mean, yeah, uh, virtualized geometry. No, nope. uh, you won't do it? No, okay. Uh, okay, and texture should be epic. Meshes apply. And we'll look at this more from a gamer's perspective and less from a graphics perspective, though it was beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna load wow. Well. And Eve. Yep, and there's the frame rate I wanted. Game does not look as good, but boy, the frame rate's good, and it'll play with it'll play well with others. It's unfortunate. Music's good though. I like the music so far, actually. Yeah, it's very very faint and ambient. I like that. It's one of the reasons I'm here. It could look better. I don't know. Like, I like this game, though. It reminds me of, like... It's like what Fortnite should have originally been in the single player. But they had to make it Lego for some reason to get it where they needed it. But that's okay. We'll build this whole thing here. I don't know where this is supposed to go, but, uh, If you were to add guns to this, it would be good, but they took them out, I think. Maybe the bow's are good. Maybe the bow's really good. I don't know. We'll see. Fun to build. Like more fun than rust.
Maybe I can get a compromise. I think I want to restart one last time. And turn it off performance this, but I want I want it um on And I want it to tell me uh Restart now, and we'll 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 go we'll go uh, lower settings like like low set like like not low settings but uh, medium settings uh, for like the like the actual like I don't need to go performance mode for this. It, it's it's actually um, more optimized than most games. So, so I mean I like the, the Unreal Engine. It's always been really good. It's nice to play. Uh, a survival game on the f on the um, easy anti cheat that isn't rust. It's kind of cool. Uh, so what what happened here? We had to go. What happened to my other? Oh, um, right. So inventory item hanger mining. Okay, good. I'm done. And then we'll come to well and log to the bank. Drive active. 